another episode of Roll for Trouble with our Wednesday night DM chats. With not one, not two, but three DMs. The other which one's... one will appear here momentarily. Yes. That DM is also tech support. <laughs> so, you're just going to have to deal with it for right now. Um, so, <clears throat> the, obviously, with three of us being on camera tonight, um, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, mostly because we sort of wanted to do a 2018 year in review uh, for the channel. Um, talk about the things that we learned. Um, we learned shit? We, uh, surprisingly enough, we did. What? What? Uh, we learned that people actually want to watch us on the internet. <laughs> That's crazy. Right? <laughs> Super crazy. What even um, is happening right now? So, yeah, we wanted to talk about things that we learned, um, and then things that we would change. And, uh, we're all under the, uh, communal, it's fucking cold and we want to blanket. Which is funny because it's not it's that not cold. cold like it's not all. that cold. But it's fifty. <coughs> 50. It's not that cold at all. Which is amazing for me uh, because I'm in the warehouse all this week. What little I have left of it, anyways. So, um, to start. No, wrong way. Um, fail. Go the other way. It's still the wrong way. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? Nope. You need some. Uh, you need some tech support. Got it. All right. So. Yeah, who wants to start with our things we learned in 2018? You. Harley does. Well, Harley doesn't count because she can't speak human. She's a DM cat. She sits in the DM chair. She doesn't speak human, though. I'm sure we could find an interpreter. The cats are off. And now it's Zoom time. <laughs> <laughs> so if the camera starts rocking, I apologize. The cats are Zooming about. Yeah, uh, yeah Harley's decided she's going to go fuck up Kamala's shit, which is really funny. So. Why don't you start, Susie? Well, shit. Okay. Um, I guess uh, 2018 has taught me that I know way too much about the Curse of Strahd and <laughs> um, really sort of not enough about, bye, um, any of the other modules. That's so, okay. <laughs> that's fine. You could just run Curse of Strahd at some point in the future. Um, so, and I guess I also learned um, about different play styles that players have um not only with the roll for trouble group but also with groups that we do we don't actually stream with so um that was pretty fun yeah yeah your turn <laughs> um i guess the the biggest thing for me has been learning um um as far as my DMing style that I'm not quite as innocent as I make myself out to be. No, you're definitely not. Um, apparently I went a little too dark too quick <laughs> in, in Cyril. My bad. Um, which I think was my way of kind of coping and in, in dealing with the uh, issues that are happening in life um, in my desire to see someone rise above those issues. Um, I don't know if it was too much too fast so much as it was just, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're walking and we're walking and, and there what? Are Slavery! <laughs> and there are dismembered children and <laughs> stacks of dead bodies. Huh. <laughs> and uh, we're walking. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Apparently my mind is a little darker than I uh, thought it was originally. So that's been an interesting uh, learning bit for me. Um, and just generally learning, um, being more, being a better DM, I guess, is, is the thing that I've learned in, in trying to accommodate my players and trying to be cognizant of the issues that may be happening and being, um, empathetic towards their real life and trying not to, you know, be a dick. <clears throat> Not that it was ever intentional, but just unintentionally dickish by maybe doing things that people weren't comfortable with without really knowing that they weren't comfortable with it. Um, so learning to read the room and read my players has been a big a big thing for me and trying to be a better DM. So it's been my revelation for the 2018 moving into 2019. <laughs> Hello, Kat. Yep, she's joined DM us. Cat, DM Cat has joined us on the couch. She has. For the moment. She's about to go fuck up Kamala. Probably. 
Tony A2 to Deanne can't learn how to go fuck up some shit. Well, I mean, she's known that since she arrived. But you know how to fuck it up even further. Mm. Like four years ago. I know. <laughs> Side saddle away. No, don't scratch that. <laughs> Scratching the butt. So, Andy, it's your turn. Leave my TB. Leave that alone. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a whole lot of tech stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mostly do the tech supporty stuff for the channel. Um, so I've learned a lot about how Twitch works, how to set up the channel, how to update the stuff, how to set up the cameras, how to set up OBS. How to and you taught me how to do it. And I've been teaching Susie how to do it so it can happen even if I can't be here. Yep. Um, <laughs> and that way then you don't have to leave your laptop with us. Yep. So that's that's been a huge learning experience. Um, is figuring out all of that. And then and we love her for it. Yes. And then the social media channels has been doing that and sort of diving into all those um, different aspects have been interesting. Um, hello. Hi, not DM cat. And then, um, yeah, it's been weird DMing again because it's been a very long time since I've DM'd anything as a long-term game. Yeah. Um, so that's been weird. It's been hella fun. It's been weird. Um, and, yeah, so that's, that's been interesting. Um, I think that's, that's, you know, the bite-sized 2018. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, it's 2019. Holy shit. Time. Time. I had a revelation at work today, and I was like, I don't like it. I don't like time. I don't like that it keeps going. <laughs> It's I mean, taken I'm, you this long to yeah. realize that. I, like, literally stopped in the midst of what I was doing at work today, and I was like, I don't like it! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I want it to stop! I rather like the fact that time marches forward, and we're not perpetually stuck in one day forever, a la I mean, Groundhog 2018 day. did last for 40 years. It did. It 87 did. years! It's been 94 years! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the actual. Well, memory. that was like it's when, been we, were, a when we were. <coughs> <coughs> so for New Year's Eve this year, we did a new tradition where we did the Viking toast. So mm -hmm. you do an, an a boast, an oath, oath and, and a toast. toast. Yes. And um and I said that the channel had started this year, and Carolyn and Susie were both like, "What? No, <laughs> we've been doing it. this for five years. It feels like we've been doing this forever. No, no but like, no, we're it... basically at six months ish. Yep. Yeah, we cause... started on International Tabletop Day. We did. Which was in April, isn't it? Mm, yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, like, no. April, March, -ish, something and it, like that. And it was born out of like me being super frustrated with work and having been watching like Critical Role, and I was like, man, I wish we could be internet famous. And that's why you never say that kind of stuff to me because I have zero chill. And if you say I want to do the thing, then I will say, here's how we're gonna do the thing. I'm executing the plan tomorrow. Yep, yep. And then we're like, Wait, and then what? suddenly I was being in like, what do we call our channel? Oh, uh, you know, and I was just like, I was thinking it, we were just dicking around, so I was throwing shit out, you know, thinking it would never get off the ground, and the next thing I know, we're suddenly streaming cereal, and I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I have zero chill, so that's, that's, uh, you gotta be aware of that. But it's been a fun journey. It has been a very fun journey. <laughs> yeah. An interesting one to say, sh to be sure. Uh, <laughs> I think the past couple of weeks have definitely, like, tired a lot of us out, because in late like basically late november going into early december i had slightly major surgery so like my productivity took like a nosedive <laughs> because basically there was like three like four or five days where i was just like i don't want to die i hate life we had a zombie in the house it was it was tons of fun because basically i would wake up i would come out here and i would sit on the couch and then i wouldn't move again until someone came home and i was like oh fuck i have to move <laughs> it was great it was awful. It was great. What did that message just say? What? What? No. It's oh. Not. Something I just else. saw between the jazz band at the library and chasing a bell pepper through a parking lot this year is so on brand. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love you, Selah. So they've been two days. Selah, have a good year. You're having a good year, Selah. I want to have that kind of year. I know. I don't think I want to I mean, chase I bell peppers. I can throw some bell peppers outside if you want to chase some through a parking lot. No, I was thinking. I can make that happen for you, Susie. But the but the thing is, like, you'd be just throwing bell peppers, and I'm like, yeah, but they're not my bell peppers, so you have to wait for me to actually like buy bell peppers. Or like, I'm sure I could find something in your home. I know. Chef 
bullshitty bag sometime. <laughs> Whee! Go we get it! Maybe we'll just fling the my home, or the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the home the, chef. I'll home just chef. fling that macaroni. Mm, <laughs> mm, I would probably tackle you before you get it. Okay, I'm we gonna made open some up the really, fridge. I had some really damn good mac and cheese. We had a New Year's dinner yesterday. Yes. Um, which was super awesome and fun with all of our friends. So. Yeah, I've never actually had like a, this is the first year I've ever actually had like a proper, this is completely off channel and I don't fucking care. But, when are we ever on top? <laughs> but like, so usually, like this is, the, I like usually when my mom does things, they are unseasoned and bland. Mm-hmm. So especially with birds. Um, so you are Catholic. We are Catholic, and my mother, and it fucking shows because my mother's like white people food. White people food. Like apparently, loud. we don't know how to season shit. No, we don't. don't. Like my mother, I've never actually <coughs> had, like a properly cooked turkey. So like, basically, uh, PB came PB came over and made our turkey yesterday. PB, who plays Jeff, who plays Jeff, fantastic. Um, so he actually, you're supposed supposed to but ideally what you need to do with the turkey is you need to brine it for multiple hours ideally a minimum of 24 so it can soak up the flavor and then you're supposed to also cook it with vegetables in the roasting pan um to help give more of it that flavor my mother never does this so mom if you're watching which you never will it's fine um for the love of god brine your turkey so um it was a real learning experience for me because i know fuck all about cooking meat i'm vegetarian and have been like my whole life because as i discovered (laughs) (laughs) this is a fun story it's a great story (laughs) so so during the holidays we were just talking about all the different places that we lived and when i was like six or seven we lived in this really rural community in north carolina and I was like, yeah, I remember we went to this place and they had like fresh milk from cows and it was warm and had like chunks in it. And I was just like, ah. <laughs> and my mom was like, yeah, that was at the turkey processing plant. And I was like, the what now? <laughs> <laughs> and you bet. That was the only good part about that day. <laughs> Everything else got blocked out of your memory. Apparently, oh. but yeah, we went to a turkey processing plant where they walked us through the entire process from here's how we kill the turkeys on to like... The whole thing. Um, rural farm communities are wild. Wild! Um, <laughs> I say yeah. like I've ever lived in a rural farm community. Um, but yeah, so uh, so yeah, I'm vegetarian and have been since I was, let's say, six. Um, for oh, reasons. Okay. And Aren't you an Atlanta native? I am. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we're transplants. So I, uh, <laughs> you know, when I was like, hey, we should do a New Year's Day dinner thing. PB, you should do a turkey so I don't kill people with good intentions. And he was like, okay, I don't think my brine bucket will fit in your freezer. And I was like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Why do you have a bucket? <laughs> Why do you have mostly a brine bucket? Why do you have a brine? What do you, what, what? What so, like, is I happening? Had, I had, like... So he came over with, like, a Home Depot bucket. Like, like, like a Home Depot bucket that, like, you, like, it's size, like, it's a five-gallon bucket that you fucking put paint in that has been emptied out. Um, thusly cleaned. Thusly cleaned. Yes. <laughs> only used for turkey brining. Yes. So I'm going to have to tell my mother now that if she wants to do this, uh, she needs to brine her turkeys. Um, also, deep frying turkeys. Fantastic. Horrifying. Horrifying. You can do it. Just be safe, please. There yes. have been numerous stories of people who set themselves on fire while doing it. So please, internet. That's because they don't. Safety first. These are cooking tips with roll for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be our, that'll be it's our not new. DM tips or DM chat. It's cooking tips. Uh, here's how to feed. Here's how to not kill your players. One, don't fry your turkeys improperly. <laughs> yeah, because or apparently... feed them undercooked meat. Because apparently, like the way that the way that most turkey accidents happen is because people don't thaw their turkeys mm-hmm. for enough time so then when they stick it in it starts exploding and it then things explodes, are on fire yep. and, then, and then that's how you lost your garage mm-hmm. 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 things are on fire and people have third degree burns yep 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 mm-hmm. science so anyways welcome to cooking tips with roll for trouble but yeah so we had a we had a nice new year's day dinner where we had both roll for trouble people and friends who don't play D at all mm-hmm. um over and the same but with, still like us and the same with new year's <laughs> eve yeah we do do stuff outside of dungeons and dragons i do know it's, i know no. it's wild to believe it's like this venn di- <laughs> i know it's a venn diagram but it's slowly <laughs> becoming just a straight it up is circle. it's it's like angela and michael are the two outliers at this but point they have yeah, played, but they have played because they love me that much um yeah um, but yeah, slowly it's becoming a Venn diagram of friends and people who play D&D are becoming, you know, Circle. one group. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just make, well, I should say, I, I was like, let's just make friends with old people. The way old people play D&D. They do. Fuck, we're old. We are. 
We are. I saw something on the internet that said 1999 was 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I was like, we should party like it's 1999. How old was I? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to party like it was 1999. I was too young to party like it was 1999. But let's be real, the way that we party now is pretty similar to the way that we partied in 1999 because all of us have been boring our whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> Like, every single one of us has been like, Juice Fox and Great British Bake Off at 9. Ooh, it's a wild night. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to go get my haircut. Um, I came back from Florida last week, and I went to go get my haircut last Friday. And this, this bless this old lady who was leaving. She had just gotten her haircut, and uh, she was leaving the shop, and she was, sl- and my hairdresser was like, oh my god, I'm going to stay up so late, and you know, I'm going to stay up till like... I'm like midnight, and the old lady was like, I can't do that. I go to bed at nine. And I was like, Me too. And she was like, Honey, you are 20. Stay up. And I was like, No, I like sleep. Also, bless you. <laughs> also, bless you for thinking I'm 20. I'm not. Oh. Yeah, we are we are all grandmas at heart, um, which is why we don't do a whole lot of like late night streams. Because <coughs> pretty much all of us are in bed by like 10. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, if we're, and if we're not asleep, we're, like, on our way to being asleep. We're hanging out in our rooms on our phone, messing around with memes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Slowly letting the, the, the dull light of the internet lull us to sleep. Yep. Which is the exact opposite of how that works. <laughs> <laughs> the light of your phone keeps you up. So. I don't know. I, I'll sit there and I'll watch it. I'm like, uh, uh, I guess it's time to go to bed. Turn it off. I'm weird, so don't don't count me. I'm an outlier and shouldn't be counted. Spider George over here. What? No, no, oh my god. I'm not gonna explain the meme. So, okay, I'm gonna explain the meme. 2019! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Spider George, um, the whole thing is like... Oh, okay. The whole thing is That's like... That's not what I heard. Um, spider, like, the average the average person swallows one spider... Uh, one spider a year. However, that, that, that statistic also included Spider George, who lives in a cage... Who lives in a cave, sorry, and eats 10,000 spiders a day, uh, and he's an outlier and should not have been counted. Ah, okay. That's where that comes from. Light bulb. All right, 2019. So, 2019! What um, are you hoping for on the channel or for yourself or whatever you well, want to share? I'm kind of hoping that I will... Well, it's not even a hope. I'm def- I definitely want to pick up um, and look at one of the other like pre-built adventures um that wizards of the coast has put out um they have a lot like princes mm-hmm. of the apocalypse storm yeah. king thunder um mm-hmm. and they also have rise of tiamat rise of tiamat that's another one water deep water deep um i want to pick up like another maybe not probably sticking with a d20 system because i'm not adventurous enough yet in my dnd in my dm <laughs> career to branch out of the d20 system um pick up one of the other pre-built adventures and sort of go through those because i kind of want to do um this is going to sound awful but i kind of want to do a second edition tomb of horrors mm, um, oh god just but meat I want, grinder everybody not necessarily meat grinder everybody but i do want to institute save points <laughs> <laughs> if you die go back to the no sport. just require you have to bring five characters with you when you come which one do I want to do? Yeah, now? who's mm. first? I'll do this one. <laughs> but I kind of want to do like two before, like second edition two of horrors, um, or like the actual two of horrors um, campaign book, um, and run some people through that because I figure that could be pretty fun. <laughs> um, but really want to do second edition uh, two of horrors because my god, that one's f- uh, the stories I have heard from my coworker Rob. Um, about Tomb of Horrors, I just really want to play it out and just let everybody know going in, be like, no, we're gonna have fun, but expect to die repeatedly. Anyways, here's your save points. This is what they look like. Go. <laughs> I mean, basically, you just take the story and import it over to Five E, because I don't know that I really want to learn how to do Two E. No, Three Five was complicated. No, I would, I would, I would update. No. It for, oh, okay, good. Yeah, I know. I would. <laughs> so I would like, take I don't want to go back. And update it for, or <laughs> I find don't someone. Go back. <laughs> yeah, no. I I'm would, sure someone has. Someone has because the new Tomb of Horrors I don't think is as <laughs> awful as the original Two E Tomb yeah, of Horrors. I've but heard that. I, I kind of want to do that, but anyways, mm-hmm. that's that's my thing. Is I want to pick up another adventure and maybe get obsessed with that. It's fine. And then run it for the channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Long, long. Maybe when uh, Terry Cell ends. Mm. Maybe we'll see what happens. <laughs> mm. I guess since we're doing going down the line, <laughs> it's your turn. I stalled for you as much as I could. <laughs> I'm sorry. With Spider George. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Spiders and me in bed don't go well together. <laughs> um, brown, brown. Yeah. But there was the one time I broke my shoe rack. <laughs> oh, no, I remember that. That was funny. Because Golden texted us and was like, is everything okay? <laughs> And then I had to explain. <laughs> no, someone just got really scared of a spider in their bed and backtracked too fast and fell. <laughs> and broke their And shoe broke rack. a shoe rack. Yeah. Ah, so 2019. I think that happened two years ago. Um, <laughs> still very fresh in my mind. Um, what do I want for 2019? Um, I definitely want to... I definitely want to get into, like, the, the character arcs um, in Cyril um, and uh, maybe start tying it back into my main plot, um, which I'm hoping many have guessed the, the original, like, darkness was part of the main plot. <laughs> I'm kind of... <laughs> Shock and all you were Spoilers! Just... Um, but um, I'm going to try and, you know, maybe tweak it a bit so it's not quite as dark. Maybe. We'll see. Um, How much damage would Barry take if I threw about this yeah. one? <laughs> How much damage? <laughs> okay, so after we do 2019, let's do our favorite moments from the channel this year. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> we're totally just making this up as we go, guys. It's fine. We, we, we kind of all forgot it was Wednesday, because let's be real, it's like... Between Christmas and New Year's, time it's just exist. a time vortex of non-existence. <laughs> Those calories didn't count. You're welcome. And then I haven't even been here for, like, a week, so it's been really weird. And I've had, like, since the 21st I've been off. So, like, from, like, the 20, 27th of November to, like, the 13th of December, I was out of work. You and basically I, have been out of work since the 27th of November, because you went back to work for, like, what, five days? Ish. <laughs> Ish. You've had a month-long holiday. It's been great. <laughs> It's been super great. I'm super Welcome jelly. to 2019. Welcome to 2019. Now I have to go this back to This is gonna work. suck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been at work all this time. I've been on my... Here, sitting on my ass. It's been great. Um, mm. But yeah, I want to kind of get into the character arcs that I've been writing. Um, we're kind of starting to work towards one of them. I know, and I um, hate it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I, hate it. I hate it very much. I'm unprepared and I don't want it. Um, um, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to be here. But you can't return the. You can't return it because you don't have the original receipt, and it's more than two days past the original expiration date. <laughs> <laughs> um. And I would like to see maybe. I don't know if this will ever be feasible or possible, but I would like to see. Um, or I'd like to do again. I don't know how feasible it is with our time crunching constraints, with work and muggle jobs and all that fun stuff. Um, but I would like to see maybe more creative creative episodes if you will um i kind of really enjoy doing like the painting things but i'd like to do maybe do other things that are creative in nature towards D D and maybe linking it back to table topping or just gaming in general um we could do a whole one boring weekend of where i just re-ink a bunch of my dice you know <laughs> or like you know you can watch me knit you. something which is totally un un <laughs> to watch. We'll just, we'll just put titles of episodes ASMR. I was gonna say just make it ASMR and you just can't speak. We'll just have to focus on just the sound of you knitting. Mm hmm. And it won't be weird at all. Nope. That sounds really weird. <laughs> People fall asleep to that shit. My sister actually used mm -hmm. to do that a lot. She would put on ASMR videos to help her go to sleep, and it's just like weird like background noise videos. Like she found this one of like a lady whispering in a doctor's office, mm -hmm. and like she fell asleep to it. There are some oddly specific ones. It's yes. Like, it's ASMRs are sort of like kinks. Like there's something out there for everyone, and I don't understand it. Mm hmm. Okay. But we're not going to do that. We are not going to be an ASMR channel. No, we're not. We may have the occasional <laughs> ASMR video. I know. We'll do ASMR dice for Instagram or something. Yeah. No, we'll just do like one of PB's bags in a box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shake, 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 <laughs> shake, 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 Oh. Ooh, Anyways, ooh. sorry. <laughs> sorry. Continue. What? Nothing. Nope. I hadn't had a thought. We'll, con we'll express that thought later. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna hold on to uh, but yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to finish Terry Cell. Woo! Um, right now, the hope is that end of February, March ish, is when we should be wrapping up. And in 2019, um, this is not a hope. This is a reality. We are changing the schedule of Terry Cell to be every other week. So the weeks that we don't have Cyril, we will have Terry Cell still Sundays. Um, mm, okay. Um, yep. 
So, um, we may push the time back to 11. We may keep it at 10. Don't know that for sure yet. Um, but we are, and they're going to be longer. So the episodes are no longer going to be like an hour, two hour max. We're going to play them probably similar-ish time to Cyril. Probably Three, still a little hours. shorter. But <clears throat> they'll be every other week. Um, so we will basically have one D&D game a weekend. Just either, It'll either be Saturday or Sunday. Um, so that's not a hope that it's happening. <laughs> um, that is happening. We, we've chatted a little bit about it on and off, and uh, that's that's what's happening. So that means we're not going to have Cyril until, I think, the 13th of January. You mean Tercel? Tercel, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, Cyril's happening this yeah, weekend. Cyril, <laughs> is, Cyril is this weekend. Um, Heads up, Internet. Don't you touch my laptop, cat. <laughs> um, Sorry, the tiny cat has climbed onto the coffee table. Um, but yeah, so Terry Cell will not be back until like the 13th of January, which is wild to think about, um, and is giving me entirely too much time to think. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to finishing up the campaign. It'll be only the second one I've run to completion. Um, we'll see how they do with NPCs. Um, so they won't forget them on a planet. Yeah, because the last one they just left, they ran through the gate and saved themselves and left their NPC that had been with them from episode one Fuck that. behind. And you're like, bye Alice, and then they were gone, and that was the end of that. <clears throat> and then at the very end she's like, yeah, good job on saving Alice, and we're like, who's Alice? Yeah. And yeah. she was like, who? Yeah, that might, maybe that's why your NPCs die so frequently in Turi Cell, because you guys just don't take care of them. <laughs> This is why we can't Either have Either that or you kill them off prematurely so that we don't have a chance to forget them. I know. So far you guys haven't forgotten Fox. I've been very proud of you. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. Maybe that means we're evolving as players. <laughs> Lol, that was a Lol. Savage Worlds sci-fi adventure. It was... Um, God, a year? How many years? It's been like ago? five years. Yeah. Because I was in grad school and we were living in that shitty little department in Decatur. Yeah, that's right. And uh, James... Yeah, that's six. Right. It's been six years. Six years, yeah. But yeah, so James and James was there too. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's been it's been a long time. Six years. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, I think I would like to see us maybe do more one shots, like monthly one shots, and that way we can more. that way we can bring in other players, like people who can't commit to long games. Um, and I just kind of want to play like. Not necessarily just D and D stuff, but some of the other systems out there as well, um, which is challenging because then you have to learn the system, and if you're just learning it for a one shot, that's a big commitment. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's kind of weird. But like you know, like playing stuff like Crash Pandas and Honey Heist, and like doing kind of silly, ridiculous games. Um, yeah, silly, ridiculous like one shots. Yeah, like that R and W Tremor Train one. Yeah, um, she sent hilarious. us another one, and we should still play that even I know, though it's after Christmas. We're probably, and I don't care. I know we're probably going to still play it, um, but it just didn't happen for the holidays. So hopefully, before the end of January, we'll play it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it sounds ridiculous with like Santa being and, corrupted by like rotten, like bad cookies. It's and great. So it's like Santa and all the elves and all the reindeers ate these bad cookies and now they're like bad and you have to save Christmas. It's great. Um, <laughs> oh my God. It's only on her pa- Patreon. So you have to support her there to get it. Um, but it's great. I ran the trimmer train for um, my mom and my niece and some of their friends when I was home. And that was very fun. Um, they went about it very differently than you all, <laughs> and I was significantly kinder to them than I was to you all, um, because they had no idea what they were doing, sort of. Um, the fighter did not want to engage in melee, because they were very concerned about being hit, and so the wizard then started to engage in melee. Which should um, not have happened. <laughs> so things got really weird. Um, things went real. Things went from zero to one hundred real, real quick. But nobody could roll for for shit, anyways, including the spider. So it was just sort of like. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I... so nobody was really taking much damage, and like it was it was just weird. Um, but yeah, I would like to do more like more one shots, and I'd love to do more of the stuff that's on the DMs Guild um, that doesn't maybe get a lot of attention um and then we have a couple other people who've reached out and sent us games that they'd love for us to play that i would like to be able to do um and i'm hoping that maybe now that we don't have turry sell every sunday we maybe can add in like a painting thing or a one One shot shot or something and just do like a grab bag type random thing once once or twice a month it'd be fun you know what? What? I'm really excited about it. What? Coming soon. Crack and Dice. 
Kickstarter dice are supposed to be delivered. Oh, God. Early. I am <gasps> oh boy. stupid excited. Well, you're going to have to do like a live stream of you opening your ridiculous amount of dice. We are. Yes. We are Which absolutely going to have to do that. Which means you're going to have to wait. Yes. Um, for like a Wednesday. <laughs> or we can just do it whenever the fuck we want. It'd just be a surprise stream. Surprise, internet. <laughs> surprise, my dice came delivered. in. delivered. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You've missed nothing. You've missed nothing, Brian. We're not doing anything every Sunday. Um. <laughs> 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 we are not having Terry sell every Sunday anymore. We are um, changing the schedule, babe. I will explain it to you. The, the, ch- the schedule changes just the weekends. We don't have cereal. We will have Terry sell on Sundays. That's it. Yeah. Um, so it'll just go to every other week and be a little bit longer. But. Someone's not paying attention. I think um, I think he might have just joined us. Yeah, no, he just, okay, he that's, just joined that's fair too. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, but she probably won't be able to wait until Wednesday, which is why I said we could just do it whenever. We can just do it whenever. Because I have zero chill when it comes to opening packages. And we can always do it on like Instagram or Facebook, and not just Twitch. Well, I almost. But, yeah, mm, Oh, that is that is right. I do have the Instagram live feature. I know. And I do have so access to our just, Instagram account. You could just sign on to Instagram, and I'm just going to get a notification on my phone. And Roll be for like, is live! What? <laughs> <laughs> it's 4 p.m., bitches, and my dice are here, and I'm never going to sleep Aww. ever again! He just got home from work. Oh, That's terrible! I'm sorry, Brian. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we have, we have Cyril on Saturday, so that should be fun. We're going to be back in the Aries, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, I have to remember shit. I know. I gotta figure out. I, I gotta. We gotta figure out what we bought. <laughs> what we bought like eleven episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could watch the episode together. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the world's yeah. most complicated. <laughs> you know, I think that I made it a clip. I just don't know if the clip included the finale of <laughs> the world's most complicated. <laughs> the world's <laughs> most complicated. <laughs> I'm ninety percent sure I remember what I got. I have no idea what everybody else got. I think I was asking them about doing... That's not how you do that. I think I was asking them about how to do... Um, Cloak of Elvenkind? No, no, because I already got no, that. No, she got that. Yeah, no. Yeah, but I already she got was that. asking them about something else. I, was, I think I was asking them about either a bag of holding or a something, and I don't know what it was, and I don't like watching myself on camera. I have to remember how much money you guys get for doing all the shit. Mm-hmm. It's Wednesday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think we said 250 per person. I'm sure it's in my notes somewhere. I'm sure it's in my notes somewhere. <laughs> Famous That's last words just of the DM. It's over there somewhere. That's fine. Goggles of <coughs> or a bag of Holsing. He's, he meant to say I Holsing. I know. I but just Holsing like, is I like Holsing because it's like Helsing's very <laughs> prim and proper brother. Holsing, who works as an accountant for a non-profit. <laughs> And, it's, and that's who his brother gets health insurance through. <laughs> he's, the, he's the care dependent. I need you guys to quit. Because now I want to write this. You did. <laughs> Make the Sims. Helsing and Holsing. Make Helsing and Holsing the Sims. And they could be vampires. And they could be vampires and one of them is in the business and one of them is in the deviance. <laughs> they could be Strahd's roommates. Or Brigitte's roommates. No, Brigitte doesn't exist. She got deleted. Oh, that's oh. right. In the, in the Great Purge of the Sims 4. <laughs> well, no, I started, off, I, started off with, I started off with Brigitte to sort of test where everything was, realized everything had gotten deleted, started over again with Strahd all by himself, which was a, probably a bad decision. Cat. Um But boop, boop. then I realized as I had started Strahd, I went to go back and check on Brigitte, and she didn't exist anymore. Oh. And I was like, all right, I guess she's gone. That's fine. <laughs> I chopped this foolishness. <laughs> we shall never a top. <laughs> Can't don't a top. We love you, Brian. <laughs> you missed our raving about the food for like ten minutes. Anyways, this has been cooking with all. <laughs> Back to our cooking tips. Oh. Uh, well, maybe we should do that one day. Maybe we should also do, uh, like, a really shitty, like, this is how you cook things we stream. We could just do, like, a food for D&D. Mm. <laughs> Walk Live to the grocery st- store. Here, buy some chips! <laughs> Here, buy some cheese! <laughs> Instagram Live, we're going to Costco! <laughs> this is what you got, chess. 
And then the people at Costco are like, what the fuck? <laughs> let's, be, let's face it, that would not be the weirdest thing that's ever happened no. at a Costco. Uh, probably no, not. probably not, actually. Yeah. Alright, so what's your favorite moment of the channel so far this last year? Oh, last year. I was hoping you'd say this year and I'm no. like, this. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did and then I got myself. <laughs> um, okay, favorite moments on the channel. Um, I honestly, I really like the... I know we obviously all hang out together, but I really like DM chats because I feel like that's like that's where like most of the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry, and it's the funniest <laughs> shit ever sometimes. Um, especially when we're t- <laughs> Brian says water walk, but Brian's not allowed in this conversation. Brian's right favorite now. moment was the water walk. <laughs> of course, it was. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. That was a really good moment. I wish that the camera had been more front facing so I could actually see my face. Because all yeah. I have is a side view. You have the sort of side profile of you because we hadn't quite what? sorted out <laughs> cameras yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're doing what? I'm casting one. I know, and then I love how you were like, well, how many people do you <coughs> And he's like, everyone, including our Goliath guys. And you're just like... <laughs> but it's only people you can see. And he's like, yeah, we're all right here. God damn it. <laughs> but the water's really murky. No, it's not. No, it wasn't. You could talk about how clear it was. <laughs> F7, you Fuck my that. players for remembering shit! <laughs> Anyways, the internet goes out. Unplugs the internet. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I think like my favorite, I think my, my, oh, actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's a tie between doing the Tremor Train and DM Chats because, mm-hmm. again, I really like the loose feel of the DM Chats a little bit. What are you doing? I'm sorry. It's the, you're walking on something that's covered in plastic. It's and you're covered in offended by it. You idiot! Don't walk on it then. Sorry, the tiny cat is walking on things and being offended by the plastic that she's walking on because how dare it! You're making a stupid face, cat. I mean, that's her default face. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Tremor Train and DM Chats are my top two faves of 2019. Mm-hmm. Okay. Carolyn? Oh, shit. <laughs> I gave you a heads up this was coming. That's the most heads up you've gotten for anything so far in this chat. Oh, God. Um, boop, boop. I think it's a tie between the water walk, <laughs> even though it was, like, not my <laughs> favorite situation, but just, like... The funniest shit. Just the, the sheer amount of glee that brian took in like completely dismantling my entire plan because i had like gone through like this entire planning process i was like yes it's gonna be a really awesome fight because they're gonna have to like think about swimming and shit and these things are like great in water and they're gonna drown water walk and water the walk. Cleric, the cleric. i cast water walk <laughs> what you have that <laughs> yeah that's one of my prepared spells because we were going in the river and i knew it because we've been on the river for a week what <laughs> Uh, so yeah, but also I think my favorite moment, um, was probably the, uh, when Led and, or Jeff, I should say, Jeff and Verity, um, went off on their little mini adventure and Verity got knocked the fuck out <laughs> and then demonstrated because <laughs> that was <laughs> genuine. I, I sort of had an idea of where it was going, but at the same time, it was amazing. I, I I was like, I don't know how they're going to get out of this. <laughs> Y'all are fucked. You cover your ears. <laughs> window. Clunk. Oh, you have to prepare to take your children out the window. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> Brian says the maze was pretty sweet. I was. I mean, I, as, as a DM, that was probably my... I put a lot of work into that, so... Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Um, there are some things, of course, you know, you always want to tweak after the fact, but... Um, yeah, I say as a DM, that's probably... Anyways, that's what DM's guild is for. Tweak it later. Yep, yep. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, it was a good one. Um, so yeah, definitely the Verity out the window thing. How much damage are you taking my job out the window? How much damage? Just the long pause. I know. How much? I know. Because I was like, okay, where are you going with this? With that long how? And then that you finished whole the sentence. episode was ridiculous, though. It really because was. then there was. Oh, this the, is you a shitty you... house. Yeah, this is a <laughs> shitty house. <laughs> I'm sorry, most houses only have, <coughs> only have 
all the, there was linear all direction three, to get out of the there kitchen. Was all three of you checking an alleyway and getting the below best a alley. five. You're the like, best alleyway you've you ever guys seen. We're probably standing in the middle of a field. <laughs> like, just obvious as day. In the middle of the street, going, I wonder if this alleyway is safe. <laughs> is it safe? People Someone else with better eyesight. Yeah, they're safe. Weird. Just ignore them. <laughs> They're out of towners. It's fine. It's fine. Just don't. Just don't <laughs> just, think just, about it. Just don't acknowledge them. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> so don't make eye whole... contact. They can smell fear. <laughs> yeah, that whole episode was pretty. Was pretty um hilarious. This is a shitty ass. Oh, <laughs> um, so unprompted and yet so beautiful. And that's like the, that's one of the best things about D and D is like the unprompted ones are usually the best. Um, and then I'll be I'll have two polar opposite ones uh, for Terry Cell. So the one was the last episode of Terry Cell we did where everything was really sad. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of feelings. And everyone had a lot of feelings. It was very sad. Um, and I was honestly surprised that anybody was sad because I didn't think anybody would give a shit. So I was pleasantly surprised. Um, when we all gave shits. And then suddenly everyone cared and like was emotional and I felt bad that I had to give a warning <laughs> because I just didn't think anybody would give a shit. So... <clears throat> Shock and all we did. Uh, so, that was pretty cool. Um, <coughs> oh, oh, favorite Terry Cell moment? Actually, the epi- like the, the episode where we got onto Fox's ship and Fox was like, Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you three are gonna save the world. Mm. Sounds fake. Why are you on my boat? I hate people. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone on my boat? I hate all of you. Get off! And we didn't. Um, <laughs> I know, and he's just given up at this point. <laughs> like, they're, they're stuck. Fuck. <laughs> Anyways. This my is... favorite Terry Cell moment? The whole game. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like my other, so the one, my two moments of Terry Cell was the, the sad one with the last game. Um, <laughs> which, now I have to, like, put all that together, so that's gonna be weird. Um, and then my other favorite one is a tie between the crab flinging near the beginning with the yucky <laughs> sex, um, and the drinking contest and rock'em sock'em robots yes. fair. Um. Crab flinging is my favorite. <coughs> my pedophilia is going to become fucking proficient in crab flinging. Why are Don't you hurting all of the mice? <laughs> that was, that was, that, the... The Rock and Sock and Boppers was absolutely hilarious because I wasn't participating in it. And I was just sitting out there and I'm just like, oh my god, you guys are drunk as hell and this is funny. Well, Anyways, I'm gonna hide and this is great because you can't spot me. Because you're too fucking drunk. Yeah, well what's super great is I did not plan that episode out at all. I knew there was gonna be a fair of some sort, but I was just flipping through the fair festival book that I had and was like... Drinking contest is perfect, and then they'll have a fight club, but I don't want anyone actually getting hurt, so they're just going to wear, like, inflated boppers. Squeak. <laughs> Squeak. <laughs> now I feel, now I feel like, now I feel like, the Rock'em Sock'em boppers just now reminds me of uh, the best mascot in the NHL, Gritty. Um, oh, God. Because, like, his hands <laughs> squeak oh, when he hits something, so yeah. there's, like, a video of him, uh, like... It's like a stupid ESPN thing. Like he's at a, like his, one of his coworkers' desks, and he's like complaining about stuff. And every time his hands hit the thing, it squeak. they squeak. And then it's really great because like so one of the other hockey players comes up. I think he like plays for somebody else now, but he lives, still lives in like Philadelphia. And he goes, he runs, he comes up to Gritty, goes tag, and he just runs off. And then Gritty like smacks it and squeak, and then he just goes <laughs> running off at this most hilarious like comedy of error <coughs> style to go oh. after this this hockey player. It's great. Oh, but yeah, those are probably my two favorite Terry Cell moments. Yep. Good shit. <laughs> the Rock and Sock and Robots. It's really great is <laughs> when you think about it, those two episodes were one after the other. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had a high and then we hit a really low low, man. It was. It's we're doing this right it's now. It's the way. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I'll let you guys know, you can tell when I have it planned for Terry Cell because that's when you get the crab flinging and the yak <laughs> sex. <laughs> but then when she does plan, you're just emotionally you ruined. <laughs> when she does, when she does plan, it's like, how am I going to ruin my players today? <laughs> when she doesn't plan, it's yakety sex and rock'em sop'em robots. So I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> that rock'em sop'em robots and yakety sex are fucking funny. They are great. When in doubt, just go ridiculous. <sighs> right. Yeah, because if they're laughing, they don't think too hard about how this makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fucking no sense. Uh, 
<laughs> I also love how uh, my, uh, my other favorite moment um, in Cyril um, <laughs> was the lack of any of my players really testing the uh, the uh, carnival games. The carnival games. Yeah. No. No. Didn't for uh, I'm, I'm, so so legitimacy. I'm so mad yep, I wasn't nope. there for that. Nope. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I missed all of that because Verity would but have rinsed. Them. I will say that the the uh, Gorgon or the Ride the Bull is not rigged. It's just hard. It's just very hard because it literally uses the stats of the Gorgon, um, the metal bull thing, which is at, has a strength of twenty, so it's a plus five to the <laughs> roll, and that's and that's and it's not even trained in it. It's just that's its natural stats, and I just happen to be rolling really well. Sorry, Brian. Um, <laughs> and Ma. Yeah, well, you know, he didn't try like sixteen billion times. <laughs> Right, just it left in in all caps shenanigans. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was actually not rigged at all. Um, but every all the other stuff was supposed to be rigged. It's her natural state, trickster god energy, yakety sex. <laughs> yes, I mean you're not wrong. I don't understand this trickster god energy, but that's I'll the energy you it. radiate is benevolent you, trickster god. I will. You play rogues all the damn time. That doesn't mean I'm a trickster. <laughs> It's exactly. There you go. Just uh, have you met yourself? Look, just because, <laughs> just because I ruined your moral choice puzzle one time. I ruined your moral choice puzzle that one time. The very first time I ever played D and D, I ruined your moral choice puzzle and ran naked through an acid cave. <laughs> Yep, yep, those were things that happened, which is why I don't that's do why your choices all that much anymore in D&D. That's why you're the Because they role. always choose option Z. Yeah. Not A, not B, not C. Oh, I Z. remember when you met some of my friends at conventions and they were just like, I can't believe you DM for her. Like, she must be fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm she's like, hilarious. I'm like, and actually, I really fun. enjoy it. Because, like, I, the, the one reason I really enjoy <laughs> DMing for players that don't go the normal route is because I then have the create I have to be more creative I have to be more um innovative and what's the word I'm actually looking for um on the fly on no. the toes on the ball that that kind of thing but there's a word for it improv yes improvisation um <laughs> I was like yes the thing but there's an actual word for it um <laughs> But yeah, that's the one reason I really like DMing uh, for a group of people who don't stick to the normal, like, ABC choices that the DM gives. Who are utter chaos. <clears throat> and who do tend to go utter but chaos. But no trickster god, because you have that trickster god energy, and you could radiate it all the time. God, we're going to have so However, much fun in the Feywild. Exactly. You're, you're going to have so much fun in the Feywild. I have to do a lot of research about the Feywild. <laughs> There's not a lot to research. I know, it's just driving me nuts! I know. I really hate there that there's not is a ton. A, um, I don't know if I sent it to you or not, but there's actually a Mike Merle's um, yeah. There's like an about... interview, but yeah, like a talk yeah. about it. But it's yeah. still not a lot. It's still not a lot of information, which is very annoying. I was looking for it for my one shot, and I was like, "This is useless." Yeah, because the Feywild is. Mm, yeah. I don't know if maybe there's something someone's put together on the DMs Guild or something. Maybe. I might look into it, but yeah. But, uh, who knows? But yeah, that'll be interesting, because that's, uh, you know, supposedly, like, all, all emotions and yep, emotions bright colors are, right. are up at 11. Yep. <coughs> and uh, everyone is out for stuff, but nice about it. Mm-hmm. Nice about it. Yep. <laughs> benevolent tricks. Good thing we have our benevolent tricks. <laughs> the benevolent are tricks are gone to guide the way through the thing. I just, mean, I don't know if you're going to It's just going to be, way. like, it's going to be great, because it's just going to be, like, I'm, surf- I'm circumventing your question and you're avoiding my <laughs> question and this conversation is never going to reach a conclusion. So we're just going to do this weird dance until somebody punches us. <laughs> <in the face. laughs> yes. Yeah. So it'll just be like, so what are you doing in the Feywild? Well, you know, we're just like looking at the sites and how long have you been here? Wow, do you live here? Is this your house? It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> This is a bush? No. <laughs> why, why are you asking about my house? Are you looking to rob it? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Are those shoes new? They look really great. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're just so well dressed and lovely. Charlie, why are you over there just giving us these judgmental looks? Because it's dinner time. It's probably past 830. It's dinner time. Whatever. So they want See, not. Way past eight. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's what happens when the three of us just start talking about Random shit. Food. <laughs> <laughs> Which we're going to have key lime pie as soon as we're done talking mm, to you, Internet. Mm, mm, mm. 
Mm-hmm. We were all really excited about that. Because it's not problem. stupid key lime pie. Like they did on the Great British Bake Off where the guy We don't talk about it. that key lime pie. Because it wasn't key lime pie! It was a lime ginger meringue pie. Brian goes, let them eat cake. <laughs> no, first we of all, they cupcakes. Are... We, do we, have... Do have cupcakes. We, we do have cupcakes. We do have cookies. And cookies. And, and donuts. And And donuts. And honey buns. And honey buns, yep. And M&M's. Uh-huh. And the cordial cherries, which... Oh, yeah, we've got the uh, Queen Anne cherries, mm-hmm. which... I, I love like. how you guys are starting to immediately list off all the all the sweet things that we have in this house, and I'm like, God. Uh-huh. I know. Thank God we have two D&D games this weekend so that we can... <laughs> Here's food! Off. Here's food! Although those donuts probably should be thrown away. I had one today. It was fine. There, it's only I been there crispy. since yesterday. I crispy. Oh, those are Duncan. Never mind. They're probably okay until maybe Friday at the latest. Yeah. Well, they're mm. cake donuts. I hate cake donuts. <laughs> I'm glad people. So, anyways, this has been our review of Dunkin' Donuts donuts. Two days later, a day later. I'm really excited. The one in the bag, I think, is a caramel chocolate one. You can have it. Um, I mean, I know I had one this morning, so I'm gonna have another one tomorrow morning because nobody else seems to be having them, so I will. I don't eat cake donuts. I really just don't like the texture of them. Um, Nom nom nom. You can have that. (laughs) So, anyways, this has been our review of Dunkin' Donuts. Honestly, Dunkin' Donuts, I just know. donuts come on, in general. Come on over, Brian. We'll be up for a little while longer, and we have, like, a <laughs> metric fuck ton of food. Please come have turkey. Um, but don't. Will I, will eat, I, will, I will eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! This is what that nearly came out of my mouth. I'm going to say I'll stab you. I mean, we have, like, two Tupperware containers full That's of That's sandwich meat! <laughs> meat Someone eaters are is. weird, <laughs> you. So anyways, thanks for a <laughs> review of what's in our fridge. <laughs> Uh, but, so yeah, uh, yeah. So I guess uh, this has been a roll for trouble. Looking at twenty nineteen, twenty nineteen. So we're hoping that we will maybe play more one shots mm-hmm. and maybe do like some painting or mm-hmm. like terrain building or something. I think it'd be really fun one day to do a um, the next time someone has like a maze or a big um, you know, room where there's going to be a fight, doing like a dungeon for build and chill. Mm-hmm. Thing. <laughs> Fuck Netflix and chill. We'll do a build and chill. <laughs> I've got some Lego chill. sets and a Gundam we I need to put together. Build and chill, bitches. Build and chill. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. I'll build a dungeon. You build a Gundam. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Brian says bring no. Turkey Friday. He just, well, he said bring Turkey. Twerky. Twerky. <laughs> bring some Twerky. <laughs> we love you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? This is completely off topic, not that we've been on topic, but you're a little pumpkin king that yeah. looks like Patchy from The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> it does if he had a little sombrero. If he had the little hat. <laughs> anyway. Go to Amazon, find a <laughs> sombrero and put it on it. I mean, I, would, I don't have to go that far. I could probably go to Michael's and find a doll hat. Maybe. I don't know if they'd have those this time of year. Doll hats? Not that, like a straw hat version. Mm, maybe. Even the doll clothing is seasonal, which is stupid. <laughs> Apparently doll clothing only comes out around, like, April. <laughs> what? Uh, anyways, we'll so yeah, well, we hope that we'll do more, <laughs> more like, you know, silly or ridiculous one-shots. I still would like to do a Bluebeard's Bride one-shot again uh, one day. I'm out. Um, I just have to find enough people who actually are willing to do it. So we got one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, which, Pause, so we got one. which uh, would be a pretty short game. We could do it. It would just be really short and yep. really awkward. I'd probably die instantly. You probably would. Because um, there'd, be, there'd be no other. There would be no other factor. There'd be no other person to take damage. That would just be it. Dead. So, anyways, the mattress eats you and the game ends. God, you guys, at the very start of the game. We didn't want to leave that room. That room was safe well, until no, the mattress tried like, to eat us. I, well, it's like, oh, the mattress is trying to eat you. You found a seam in the side of it. I stick my hand in. <laughs> I wasn't in control of the body at that point. It Nobody. tried to eat me. I screamed for help. Nobody said we were the brightest of crayons in this box. You guys spent so long in that stupid room. <laughs> So. Huh, anyway, but yeah, so more one shots, more like maybe mini paintings. Because now I've got a mini to be painted. We can try Am Snell for the third time. Just don't touch the arm. And just leave the arm be. At some point, we just probably had her buy you a new Am Snell. <coughs> probably. I have it saved on. Um, But yeah, and then uh, Forge, you've but... still got yours to paint, too. Yeah. You have so, all of them to paint. You have a lot to paint. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, we're going to do mini painting at work again on Wednesdays. Oh. Um, but. 
nobody has said anything about it yet. Oh, so man. It's very well, sad. I think it'd be maybe fun to do it again on the channel and yes. you know. Yes, that way I don't have to wait till Wednesdays at work when yeah. we're doing DM chats and then I'm like, Oh yes, I want to paint. Fuck I have to leave. <laughs> Um, then you could spend all day with us and our stupid jokes. Yay! Like, I don't do that already. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Your stereo! Duck with us. <laughs> um, and, but yeah, so maybe we'll do like a once a month grab bag where it'll be like a random whatever. We have a stupid... Just shake actually, it. No, what I'm are we gonna... doing? <laughs> I was going to say, we have a stupid bingo thing at work. I could bring that here. And then I was like, no, wait, they sent that down to Brazil. <laughs> we don't have that anymore. Then we can't bring that. No, it's a little <laughs> bit too make our own. Yeah, we'll <clears throat> make our own. Y'all have fun. <laughs> Y'all have fun. I am not in the board game making industry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was just, mm. it's a ball. Yeah. Mention. And then at, uh, at some point, maybe we'll run my one shot on the channel oh. mm. when it's not a test run. That's right. You also want to do that this weekend, don't uh -huh, you? Which means I have to finish it. <laughs> oh, that, would be, that would be very important. So we'll be we'll both it. be up Friday, frantically trying to finish it. I have so many things that I have to finish because I have two novel edits that came back at like two weeks apart, and they both need to go back. And then I have this that's due, and <laughs> suddenly so, just snowballs. I have so many things due. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyways. Um, this is so, how we avoid our responsibilities. <laughs> I still have a whole knitting project that I was supposed to finish by Christmas, which isn't done at all. <laughs> and I need to finish that, but I haven't had the beans to do it. Um, so, beans? Spoons. Spoons. That's what I meant to say. Spoons, but beans, beans, came beans out. spell slots. It's like the same thing, right? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think Brian quit. I think he might have. <laughs> he might still no, be watching. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, I think he's still watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have Cyril this Saturday at yep, 12 p.m. Yep, Eastern yep, Standard yep, Time. Yep, 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 yep. Which you need to let me know what the episode title is so I oh. can actually make images and shit because right. I didn't do that for this because... Fuck it. Because it was suddenly Wednesday. <laughs> um, and... Uh, the Long that River Home. That is the tag, by the way, if any of you heard that. There you go. Yeah, The Long River Home. The Long River Home. Okay. Um, you're gonna have to text that to me. Um, <laughs> immediately text it because I won't remember when this ends. And then next week we'll have DM chats again, which I guess if we start over, we can just do alphabetical order and just do me, Carolyn, Susie. That's so the long robber, the long river. The long, the long river. robber home. <laughs> We're just gonna water walk the river. Yeah. <laughs> it actually be, would be even weirder if it was if you if it tried to miscorrect it to Richard because then I'd be like, no, 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 the long Richard. I mean, th that would be very Jeff. <laughs> the long Richard. <laughs> but I'm um, Tish. That's a dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised we haven't made one since before now. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so have water walked prep again. Come up for it. <laughs> Got it. God damn it, Autocrat. <laughs> Brian, you're a treasure and I love you. Um, but yeah, so next week we will be back on um, mostly normal-ish schedule. Um, again, if there, are, if there are topics you guys want us to cover, um, we're happy to answer questions or talk about them. Um, and we also, I think, I think next year we should work on getting some of the... Uh, next year? This year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the... Uh, <laughs> Some of the other people on the channel to do more DM chats because Tony's was fun. Mm -hmm. Tony's was great fun. You know when we were distracting him through the entire thing. I know. I think he thought that this was a much more organized process because usually we're mo somewhat behaved. No, yeah. <laughs> somewhat. But then it was like all three of us in full force. Well, Bless yeah, because it was it us. was all three of us were not having to be actively in the chat doing stuff so we could annoy the person talking. Um. <clears throat> So, Brian, with brunch, you could brunch Brian eventually maybe could do a DM chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brian. Um, we could pre-record it so you don't have to come over so late. But yeah, because I'd be really curious to see you do like a talk about like a cleric build and like how to build a cleric. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is how you build a storm cleric. Don't build yeah, anything else. Yeah, because I mean, I think that would be helpful. Um, or just even uh, D, like how to D, how to run like an AL session. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like AL what adventure run... leagues way differently. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yeah. Well, that was super, super, like, the rules and everything are still, like, the same. So it's the same, just, but, like, the behind-the-scenes, like, DMs it's sorts different. of stuff are completely different. But, yeah, so that'd be cool. Um, and then I know I think PB wanted to help and do one at some point, so we'll maybe have some people besides just the three of us do DM chats. 
Um, yeah, and I have a couple friends I could try and get to record something, or maybe we could Skype them. I don't know. I'd have to figure out how to wake that work. We have to find out. Uh, we have to get a hardness down for a weekend and play a one shot with him. I know. I'm trying to. He'll be down for Jordan Con at some point. So yeah, I'm going to try and coordinate if we can maybe do something, but I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like if we try and do it with a convention with him, it's going to be. Well, he does bad. like 20 something conventions a weekend, a year, so. A weekend? <laughs> It's he just, he just instant teleports from each convention. He fucking cloned himself. He hasn't given us a secret yet, and we just gave it away on the internet. We just never Luckily, know which clone we're running into. <laughs> Luckily, no one is watching this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Except for Brian, who doesn't count. <laughs> but yeah, um, we there are five, five viewers. viewers. So there's a shit. stranger <laughs> out there. <laughs> Hi! Hi. <laughs> watching this shit. God damn it! And we just give away the secret that Hartness has cloning. <laughs> do, do, they, do, they, do they even know who Hartness is? No! Probably um, not. But yeah. Time so, Lord um, or Hermione? <laughs> neither. Neither. <laughs> um, he is neither. But yeah, so maybe I'll see if we can coordinate something with that. And That'd be fun. Get him over, get some of the Authors and Dragons guys on, because that would be ridiculous. Roll for Trouble meets Authors for Dragons. Mm, that, that would be, would be classic, that would be a clash of worlds that right would there. Be a major clash of worlds because those two worlds their intersection is me and dungeons and dragons <laughs> <laughs> so we both play dungeons and dragons what do you guys do oh we're la- we're loosey-goosey what do you guys do we're not okay i mean we're pretty loosey-goosey but we are not that loosey-goosey authors and dragons is a ridiculous podcast and you should listen to it if you haven't because it's hysterical um but boy um you don't count the terms of we don't have to kill you if we gave away the secret of cloning. That's why you count. That's why you don't <laughs> count, Brian. Umbrella of protection. It's fine. We lost our viewer. <laughs> We're back to four. <laughs> Which is oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right. So Harley logged off her phone. It's fine. Yeah, Ooh. Harley turned off her phone. Dang it, Harley. Um. But yeah, so maybe we'll try and have more guests and more. I'd love to have more people for like the one shots. I would definitely love over. to bring in my coworkers, but we can discuss that later. Yeah, but yeah, because I feel like if we do one shots, that gives us more of an opportunity to bring in other people mm-hmm. um, to do stuff. Um, and once Turry Cell ends, we potentially will have you know many more free weekends where we could do one shots. Or we could pick up another campaign like one of the ones you were talking about and just mm-hmm. do like a Tomb of Horrors meat grinder. <laughs> Anyways, here's your safe points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys didn't make it to the last safe point. Okay, anyways, take away all that experience you just got. Let's go. Oh, that would be so bad because I get so attached to characters. <gasps> <laughs> I'm like, in, I think I'm incapable of making a character without an in, in depth in back, backstory. backstory that is way too complicated, and then I send. 10,000 words of... Let me, uh, let me crack out Verity's book here. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't even sent you everything. I started a new one. Oh, God. Sweet Jesus. Hey, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, I don't know about you guys, but I'm personally ready uh-huh, for Uh-huh, we're ready for pie, so we're gonna end this here. We'll be back on Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Tales from Cyril, the first of 2019. Woo-hoo. Um... Where we will be doing ridiculous stuff and probably more complicated store transactions. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> I feel like we need to get some music for that. We need we need to just play some... the Jeopardy music. <laughs> but it just doesn't end. <laughs> <laughs> That's what needs to happen. Unfortunately, that theme is copyrighted. I know, we so would we get it take down. So we'd have to get like some royalty-free music. That's fine. I'll find music. Some. Music. Find something for us, Susie. I will. All right, but uh, I will go ahead and scooch over here. Bye, Internet. Bye, Internet. That's tech support. I have to be off camera to uh, actually turn it on. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cats don't have thumbs. Oh, yeah, Brian, you gotta look up the items you want to buy and remember the items you bought. <laughs> yep. I think he, the only thing he bought was the shield. Okay, because I thought we put a couple... I know I put a deposit on something. I think I, I was gonna what. put a deposit on something, but I forgot what it was. The wound of... The parapet of yeah, the wound closure? Para, the, yeah. Parapet... 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 So, anyway. But yes, we're going to end this stream now. Happy New Year. Yep. We'll see you on Saturday for Tales from Cyril, of Cyril, with Cyril. Of Cyril, for Cyril, by Cyril. <laughs> the pursuit of Cyril. It's fine. <laughs> we're going to get our lives together at some point. However, today's not that day. This yeah. year's not looking good either. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> All, All right. right. Bye, Internet. Bye, Internet. <laughs>